months and seasons begin to change, I always like to take a little time to reset, reflect, and get into a routine that fosters a positive and productive environment. What better way to start fresh than to wash the sheets and do a little tidying up? Last month, I won't lie, it was a bit stressful with a wedding on the horizon, so I just wanted to ease into this week with a good headspace, a clean home, caffeine, of course, and embrace the month ahead with just a little reset routine to reflect on the month of May, write down some goals for June, and get ready to make it a memorable one. Hello, it is officially, when you're watching this, it'll be June 1st, which is just so wild and kind of crazy for me to comprehend. First and foremost, my dark circles today are really showing off. So <laughs> if I seem a little exhausted, it's because the month of May was a doozy, especially the end half, which I'll, I'll get into in a second, but I'm a little extra tired. Also, like my top lip is randomly chapped out of nowhere. It hasn't even been like cold or windy. I don't know what's happening. I'm falling apart a little bit, but what a better opportunity than to take today and just fully reset, take a big deep breath, look at everything that happened in May, address it, and then also focus on some really exciting habits, goals, and just what the month of June is going to bring. As of the day this video is being published, I will have exactly one month until my wedding day, which is crazy. So yeah, let's just take today and just embrace everything, recognize it, release the bad, embrace the good. Also, as I'm pulling it up on my iPad, um, if you want to use the Notion template that I use to kind of track my monthly habits and set goals for the month that's coming up next, feel free to do that. It's in the description box and in a few weeks, I believe I'm going to do a full video all about how I use Notion to kind of organize my life and stay on track with everything in terms of just my to-do list, obviously these monthly resets, tons of good stuff. But as per usual, let's go ahead and let's look at May. <laughs> let's look at the goals and the habits that I wanted to achieve and, uh, and see if I actually did them. So first and foremost, under the health and wellness category, uh, the first month of 75 Hard is done. If you guys didn't already know or didn't see my first video on this, I am in the middle. Well, I'm actually more than halfway through now of the 75 hard challenge. I'll put the video up on the screen if you guys want to check that out, but that is done. And that also the second one, I'm so mad about myself because last month I was like, listen, Katie, you're going to put meditation back into your practice. It's going to be a regular thing. You've been wanting to do it for months. May is the month it's going to happen. And it it did not, it didn't happen. May was such a busy one and I really, really thought I could just have this perfect balance of being the go-getter type of personality I, I have on a normal basis and then also embrace this like very zen meditative practice, which I've done in the past, but May was just not the month for me to embrace it again. I had zero time, which yes, I hear myself saying that and I'm like, that's an excuse. But anyway, I think I'm gonna put that on the table maybe for August or maybe after the wedding when I have a little bit more free time. So that's that for health and wellness and then career and business. Again, I wanted to begin my newsletter and then finish my media kit for this channel. I didn't mark this off because I, I did finish the media kit in terms of like my rates and what I actually wanna charge specific brands, but I didn't start the newsletter. I don't know why I even combined these two. That again, I do want to happen. I think I'm, I just put so much on my plate for the month of May and unbeknownst to me, it was a very, very stressful month where I couldn't get a lot of that done. So so those two things I'm also gonna put for probably August, maybe late July. But something that did happen is we did hit 30K here on YouTube a few days ago, which you guys, thank you so much. It's just, it's so outstanding to hit these career and business goals in terms of subscribers and be able to reflect on it every single month. And that's thanks to you guys. So I appreciate it. And then under finance, I have sort business expenses into my business checking account. That was done. It was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. And I set up my business credit card, savings account, all that good stuff, QuickBooks. That is kind of its own running machine at this point, which is such a relief. And then budget, budget, budget. And because now I have business expenses and then personal expenses all separate, I had to kind of configure my budgets completely separately. So that I was able to successfully do as well. And it's kind of neat to see this bird's eye view of, of what is funneled where. Uh, but yes, those two things were done. So finance, it was a good finance month for me. Then under personal, it's so funny looking at this because it is one, one little bullet point here, which is pick up on wedding planning, meaning getting the seating chart done, finishing party favors, all that good stuff. And while it is one bullet point, oh my goodness, yeah, 
I did it and it took a lot of time. <laughs> I'll get into that in a second whenever I talk about kind of like the challenges and obstacles that I faced in the month of May, but yeah, no, that, that one little tick mark, it seems not very intimidating and lo and behold, it sure was. And then under self-care, uh, I said say no more often, which I absolutely did and thank goodness that I did because near the end of May, I, poof, I mean, I hit a few walls, I'll just say that. But I think that is so important, not to do just as a goal every month, whenever you know it's going to be an overwhelming or busy month for you to have, but just on a regular basis, being able to say no, set boundaries to anything anyone it's just so imperative at least for my mental health but I would imagine a lot of other people's too and then just continuing to reflect on the month of May uh, we'll start with the positives what did I accomplish so I was successfully able to kind of map out my content calendar for when I'm going to be out of town for the wedding for the honeymoon I'm obviously not going to be editing videos and posting them while I'm on my honeymoon so just figuring out that calendar and then planning to pre-film some content so that way you guys can have regular weekly videos while I'm enjoying roaming with the lions in South Africa. So I was able to map that out, which makes me feel good. And then again, we hit 30K here on YouTube, which is so cool. And then I was able to solidify some new brand deals and sponsorship opportunities for this channel. Some ones I'm really, really excited about and I think you guys are gonna love too. And then number four, uh, yeah, a lot of wedding planning tasks and to-dos and logistics were just checked off, which thank goodness I'm finally feeling like I'm on the downward slope there in terms of just relaxing and enjoying this process but yeah that two month mark before the actual wedding date it it was it was aggressive and I'll just go ahead and segue then into what challenged you so for me stress management that was definitely pretty challenging for me time management and then just letting myself get overwhelmed pretty easily there were several days where I just felt like I had to do everything at once and get it all done which is just not realistic I should have mapped things out a lot more productively and a lot better uh, to accommodate my schedule so yeah I got very overwhelmed a handful of the days had a few uh, had a few breakdowns just right on schedule but then again self-care last month included taking time off of work whenever I needed it so I actually traveled back to Nashville for my bridal shower and on the Monday I was there I could have technically worked that day because my flight wasn't until later in the evening but I just said I, I never take personal days like I never ever do so I just told myself take this day just enjoy it, take care of yourself. And also skipping a week here on YouTube and taking a personal week, I guess, if you will, away from content like that, that was really, really helpful. And I think taking that personal time absolutely is self-care and it's something I need to do more often and I just don't. But other than taking that time off, honestly, I didn't practice too much self-care except for exercising and getting outside. But I don't know, I think because I was just so stressed and overwhelmed, even that didn't feel like self-care and I just, I need to be gentle with myself in June. So we'll get to that. Then key lessons and takeaways. Taking dedicated time to get organized will save tons of time and stress later on. So like I was saying earlier, my time management and stress management was not the best in the month of May. And I think really mapping out just specific tasks to do once a day. It's just like one wedding thing a day, not 50, not 20, not looking at a huge to-do list and then crying about it. Just slowly chipping away at the iceberg is going to be so much more beneficial and mapping out how to do that and how to be successful with that is, again, going to save tons of time and also stress later on. And then yoga is great for stress management. Management. And I think this is something that we all know, right? It's one of the major benefits of practicing yoga, but actually feeling it in those moments when I was so incredibly stressed, it's just such a good reminder like, hey, moving your body, giving yourself that time just for you, sweating it out. It, it does wonders. It really, really does. So even though this seems like an obvious point, it's kind of a good reminder just to write down for myself. And then notable. So travel, I did go to Nashville a couple of weeks ago for my bridal shower, which again, that was just so, so nice. You guys hear that bird? There is a crow going absolutely bonkers outside my window right now. And then people, notable people that I saw in the month of May, again, very much kind of coincides with my bridal shower and just seeing so many people in that one room at once was so neat. And also had a fun wedding planning coffee date with my friend Carly and then had a nice little catch up call with my friend Amber. And honestly, this notable section, that's probably my favorite 
hard to write down is just looking back at who I spent really quality time with uh, during the month. So yeah. And then books, because I'm doing 75 hard, a requirement is to read 10 pages every single day. So I'm kind of rifling through books relatively quickly. I finished The Mountain Is You by Brianna Weiss. Such a great book on self-sabotage and how to combat that and just grow from that. And then I read, I think it's, yeah, it's right here. This is The Creative Habit. It's by Twyla Tharp. She's a very, very famous and successful choreographer. And I've had it for a while. I read it because James Clear actually references her book and a lot of her teachings in his book, The Atomic Habits. Anyway, that's a great one. And then lastly, I am in the middle of breaking the habit of being yourself, which is something that I started forever ago and never finished. So now it is time for me to finish it. It's by Dr. Joe Dispenza. And it's all about the science behind the law of attraction and manifestation and quantum physics. It's really fascinating. Then music and podcasts. I listen to <laughs> Burt Kreischer's podcast, specifically the Rain Wilson episode. Rain Wilson just, just came out with a book himself and he was, I guess, doing his press tour um, on a couple of comedy podcasts. So I watched his interview and it was really, really great. And then as per usual, the Endless Honeymoon podcast with Natasha Legero and Moshe Kasher. They had an episode with Eliza Schlesinger recently. That was really great. And then movies and TV. Okay, <laughs> this is a funny one. Uh, barbecue Pitmasters. I don't know if anyone watches this. It's a Netflix barbecue competition series. And yes, I know the irony is rich since I don't eat meat, but it is a fascinating show. And Kyle and I loved the first season. We're so eager for a second season and we figured the show was canceled because we just never, never saw a second season for the longest time and it just was released or at least we just saw it. So we're on, we're on the finale already with that, which is pretty funny. And then uh, Ted Lasso, we need to watch the final episode of the season, which is it is the series finale? I think the whole series might be ending. We can't figure that out, but. And then Big Beast, which is just a fun show about giant animals like lions and gorillas and elephants and hippos, you name it. And it's so much fun just to like learn about all these giant massive animals. And then for purchases and products, the only thing that really comes to mind is that salted caramel collagen that I purchased a while ago. And for those who don't know, yes, I follow a plant-based diet, but I do have two exceptions, which would be collagen and then honey that I still consume. And collagen, the main reason being, I have essentially an artificial hip. I just have a hip with tons of metal in it from a surgery that happened about 10 years ago. And especially with doing a challenge like 75 hard, I need as much mobility and joint health as I can possibly get. And I don't like fish oil. I just don't like I just don't like it. And putting the salted caramel collagen powder in my coffee is like kind of a great way also to not use any kind of creamers or anything like that. So I've been loving it. Then miscellaneous moments, memories, etc. Already mentioned this, but I just had such a wonderful bridal shower in Nashville and it was so cool seeing so many different people from different parts of my life all in the same room. And I can only imagine that's just a precursor to what the wedding will be. It'll be just this coming together of mine and Kyle's closest friends, family, and that's what I'm so excited to see. Now let's move on to June. I am ready to embrace June just with open arms. I'm so excited. I feel like I've really gotten the bulk of my stress out of the way last month. So excited to uh, talk about some goals and habits for June. Health and wellness. Finish 75 hard. I finish like at the very end of the month and I will make sure to film either a Q&A or just a final update on my last few days. So that way I can schedule that while I'm on my honeymoon, but that will finally be done. But this month specifically, I want to be really strict about tracking my macros. This isn't something that I usually do terribly often, but I've been speaking with someone who is kind of like coaching me through this last month to get like all shredded right before I, you know, go on my honeymoon and stuff. And I'm trying to up my protein to like a hundred grams a day, which I usually can hit this 60, 70, 80 mark relatively easy through like protein powders and stuff. But I'm really trying to up that, which as you can imagine, following a plant-based diet is a little bit easier said than done, but a hundred grams is a lot. And also I want to walk even more. So I'm doing a lot of outdoor walks. I'm doing a lot of walks here at my treadmill at my desk, but but I want to ramp that up because again, it does help with my mental health quite a lot. So I want to hit at least 10 to 12 K steps a day. Usually I hit around 
eight to 10. So I just wanna bump that up the slightest bit. And then career and business. This is shockingly going to be a very busy month for that because I need to pre-film all of that content for when I'll be away, which is roughly three to four weeks of content, depending on how much time I wanna like, quote unquote, take off. And I have to do that for this channel, but also for my gaming channel too. So I kind of have to do double the workload in that sense, but it's doable. I have a plan. I'm gonna make it happen. And then I figured we could just continue with the fun goal of adding 5K to hit for this month. So if we could hit 35K subscribers here on YouTube, that would be awesome. And then finance, I need to go to a Wells Fargo branch and close my accounts with them, close them all. I am so over that bank. I, I just give you the highest cautionary tale if you bank with them. I've had just the worst experience lately and I've moved all of my money, but I haven't officially closed my accounts with them yet. So I need to go do that. And then the second goal with finance is a bit of a unique one, which is just to give myself grace whenever it comes to money this month and just not sweat it as odd as that sounds to have a, as a finance goal. But because, you know, there are a lot of things to pay for in regards to the wedding, in regards to traveling on my honeymoon and boarding the dog and having someone take care of the cat, like there is a lot of money that's going to be inevitably spent this month. So I'm just going to try and enjoy it and not stress about it. I've budgeted appropriately for it. So seeing those numbers be deducted from my account, I'm going to do my best not to think about it. And then as a personal goal, I'm just going to try and enjoy this last month of being engaged. Like th this is the last month I will be engaged, be a fiance. And so I really want to enjoy that. Like I'm kind of sad that it's ending, but also so excited, obviously that I'm getting married. So I just want to soak it in. I just want to like be present as much as possible and not let stress get in the way of the excitement of it all. And then under self-care, this is such a specific and a vitally important one for me. My plan is to set very specific wedding planning hours, almost like office hours, but specifically for just wrapping up these last minute wedding to do's that I have, which are small, but still important to get done. And then do not stray from those set hours. So like if a vendor calls me or emails me, if someone asks me personally a question about it, just put that aside until it's designated hour of the day or hour of the week, whatever I end up blocking out. And I think that's really gonna help me not only designate that time to focusing on getting those few things done, but also not stress about it whenever I'm supposed to be enjoying this last month and just soaking it all in. So this is a very specific one, but I think it's going to help immensely for me to just enjoy and relax and also get a lot done too at the same time. I feel like it's a win-win. And then also I would like to book a massage, especially like the last week of June when I finish the 75 hard challenge right before I fly out to Nashville. I would love to do that for both Kyle and myself just so we can have a day to relax right before the wedding, right before everything. And yeah, those are the goals and habits that I would really like to embrace in the month of June. But also I'm gonna be gentle with myself, really just focus on my health. And also I think it's important to note that I probably won't be filming a July reset video because if I did, it would be halfway through the month of June when I would be filming it. But I don't know, maybe that will end up happening. I just need to go back and look at that calendar. So if we do skip a reset month, I mean, resetting for July would be silly anyway, since I'm gonna be spending the first half of it in a totally different country, not working or doing anything productive at all, just in vacationing and enjoying life. But also let me know what you guys want to see while I am honeymooning. Also, if you're interested in seeing any kind of wedding content at all as well, please let me know. That probably wouldn't be until like late July, early August. But yeah, no, I'm so, so excited just for this next month. And with that said, I think I'm gonna go treat myself to that yoga class, might as well. I also am finally getting my wedding dress altered today. I have been putting that off, oops. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you're feeling refreshed and rejuvenated and excited to embrace the month of June as well. So let me know what your plans are, your goals are in the comments down below. We can have a little accountability circle happening there. But thanks for hanging out with me. I hope y'all are having an awesome day and happy June. <laughs> I'll see y'all next week. <laughs>